Perhaps no three words changed the course of human history or the governance of that human history than these three, we the people. It's right here in our Constitution, one of the most important documents that the world has ever seen, something that we cherish each and every day and something that we have to stand up for. I encourage everyone today to observe Liberty Day, to talk about what that liberty means, to talk about our system of government, to talk about how our founders so many years ago developed a system where three separate but equal branches of government were to work together to find solutions to the greatest challenges our country and indeed the world has ever faced. And for over 200 years, our nation has succeeded, our nation has thrived. But it will only survive and thrive as people respect that Constitution, as people understand the responsibility that liberty gives them. Years ago, John Adams once wrote a letter to his wife, Abigail, and the question posed by John Adams to his wife was, will future generations of Americans deserve the freedoms that we had fought for? With your understanding and celebration of liberty today, your hard work, your studious efforts, and your efforts to make sure that our Constitution preserves its greatness, we will know that that answer that John Adams to that John Adams question is indeed yes, every generation of Americans deserves the freedom that they fought for and that generations of Americans today continue to fight for. So thank you for your observation. Thank you for your work for Liberty Day. And I look forward to hearing more about how your day went to celebrate our Constitution.